Hi, Taman and Jackie. Lynn Bramer is already deeply missed. He worked out of this building behind me and was a host of several shows on WXRT. He reached thousands of listeners with his upbeat personality and well-known catchphrase, it's great to be alive. Whenever a uh, rock and roll DJ in a radio station t-shirt is giving you advice, take it with a grain of salt. Legendary WXRT radio personality and disc jockey Lynn Bramer brought poetic passion, flair, and originality to Chicago airwaves for more than three decades. He was still the most grounded, humble person. He uh, would quote poetry till you'd tell him to shut up about it. You know, he was just, he was so smart and so funny and so caring. Lynn was Terry Hemmert's colleague, but most importantly, he was everyone's best friend. He was the kind of communicator who would get on the radio and he would always say he was your best friend in the whole world. And everybody felt for that, you know, because they felt like he was their best friend. He was most recently the station's midday host, but worked mostly as a morning drive host, where he was a voice on the commute to work and school drop-offs. He took a leave of absence in the summer of 2022 to undergo cancer treatment and then returned to the air for a brief time late last year. My chemotherapy treatments continue to staunch the spread of my cancer, and I have chosen to work rather than to mope. But the 68-year-old died on Sunday after a battle with prostate cancer. If you know anything about cancer, you know, don't take anything for granted. Uh, and, uh, and he got very sick again and couldn't be on the air. But, but it was almost a luxury for him because he got to say goodbye. While Lynn was a born New Yorker, he was the biggest Chicago Cubs fan. In 2019, he lent his voice on WGN for a touching opening day essay. For most of 70 years, when you said you'd be watching the Cubs, there was no need to search the TV guide. Terry treasures the days she spent next to Lynn, whether it was in the studio, attending benefits, going to concerts, or just hosting the Cubs home opener. And he was talking on mic, uh, and I came up from behind him, just put my arms around him, and laid my head on his back. While the world is dimmer without Lynn's light, Terry says the WXRT family will continue to remember him and live by his mantra. Take nothing for granted, it's great to be alive. We can't forget him even if we tried. <laughs> he's, he's unforgettable, unforgettable and unforgivable too. You left us here all, all by ourselves. But no, he's just a funny, passionate, the real, the real deal. He's a real human being, and, and he touched a lot of people. At 10 a.m. tomorrow, WXRT will broadcast a celebration of life to honor Lynn. Now, that's where DJs will share some memories, stories, and play some of his old tapes. Now, they've chosen that time specifically because that was the radio slot he was usually on air. We're live in the loop. Andrea Medina, WGN News.